Hi, in this video I will show you the plugin I developed to integrate Open Nebula with LATS. Open Nebula is an open source project to build private clouds and in this test infrastructure I have one physical host with the KVM hypervisor installed. I also have data stores, virtual networks and of course virtual machines. In Open Nebula, you also have user accounts and I'm going to create a new one using the new Latch driver. So it's going to be called Latch user ABC and I'm going to use the authentication driver Latch. I'm going to log in with this new user account now and there's an entry in the menu for the Latch integration. Let's see if it loads. In here it explains the LAT service and how to create an account. Right, the LAT service has a smartphone application that adds an extra layer of security to your Roland accounts, in this case your OpenNable account. And you can add a new service with these temporal codes. You can see in here it's valid for one minute, so I'm going to type it in And it says now that the uh, latch integration is configured and you can see here I have a new service, Open Nebula Demo, that I can set up. And the main option I have is the virtual latch. Now it's locked. And now that the latch is locked, this is what happens if someone steals my password and tries to access Open Nebula. They get a generic authentication error, so they may think that they have the wrong password. And I get an alert about this access attempt. And it says here that someone is trying to access my account. And it may be me, and maybe I want to unlock the service. So if I unlock the virtual latch and try to log in again, this time it should be successful. And this is the core functionality of the plugin. Then you have an option to unpair or disassociate your Lights account. And of course, this plugin works with any OpenNebula interface, in this case with the command line interface. I can also lock the virtual Lights, try another command, and I get an authentication error and an alert. There is also a one latch command to be able to use the plugin from the command line interface if you don't like the web interface. If you want to try it, you will find a link to the code and the documentation in the video description. I hope you find it useful.